Hey, welcome to GAU Studios. I am Eric Rickety Beans Urbino, and we are live at PAX right now. What we are with the new game Slash Dash, which is going to come out. We're with Arden and Alex, and I'm here to ask them about their game. Uh, basically, why don't you describe what Slash Dash is? What is Slash Dash? Slash Dash is the future. Uh, <laughs> Slash Dash is a 2v2 capture the flag game with ninjas. Um, it's really simple and easy. It's just uh, three commands, slash, shoot, and teleport. And uh, you can stun with shots, you kill with katanas, and you can teleport through obstacles and out of harm's way. Um, and it's just really easy to pick up and play. Four people to one sofa. Four people? One yeah. sofa, one TV. Wow. So it's a challenging game then? Uh, I don't think it's challenging. It's actually very easy to get into. Um, there is some like lots of like high-level stuff in there kind of get from playing a lot, but in terms of playing the first time, people usually, by their second game, they know what they're doing, they're having a great time, so. But where does your inspiration come for a game like this? Um, we wanted to keep everything as minimal as possible, pretty much, so we have a very few uh, controls, and in the same way, we're kind of mirroring that with the graphics. We're keeping it very, very simple. Um, the game is largely inspired by uh, Japanese culture. Um, it's like we have ninjas, we have cherry blossoms, we have all these kind of things. Um, and our artist is uh, kind of drawing from a specific like time period that he's like kind of imagined that the game takes place in. Edo, um, I think you said. Yeah. Edo period. Yeah. So he's kind of influencing all of it out of himself. So Slash Dash is clearly playable right now. How far along until it's actually out? <laughs> uh, well, we're we're throwing out a late August release date. Uh, we'd like to be done. We'll see if that's actually yeah. uh, I mean, what it, happens. But, yeah, yeah. we'd like to be done um, July and release in kind of like August. Uh, really, it, it's a, it's like a lot of factors depending on like how much we want to add to the game, how happy we're with it, and I guess like how fast we can get from completion to release at the same time. So, yeah. so what what are you shooting for? PC, Steam, consoles? Basically, as many platforms as we can. Uh, we definitely want to put it on consoles because that just makes the most sense since you need controllers. Um, but yeah, we also want to try to put it on PC and uh, yeah. you know Steam and everything. So what is your favorite part about this game? Well, okay, so we just added teleport canceling, which is uh, if you hit the teleport button before you reappear, you uh, you stay in the same place instead of teleporting any distance. Um, and it's like a really small change that uh, actually adds a lot of depth to the combat. And it's kind of another one of those things where we've done this a few times where we add one small tweak to the game and then it like opens up this whole new world of like the, the mechanics and the systems. So I guess that's like the most recent change that I've had that I really like. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess my favorite thing is uh, just getting into really intense matches. Um, just with people, even people you know, people you don't know, and who are at like a, a high level at some point, and being like getting a really serious stuff and finding out that just how deep the game is in terms of combat, and being happy that it's actually rewarding and still fun at this point in time. Yeah, and you pop down on the couch, play some Slash Dash, get that local four-player competitive vibe. I love the way the game looks. Um, well, Slash Dash, you heard it. It may be out in late August. We'll see. Uh, but that is all we have. You, you guys will know. You guys will know. We'll know. They'll keep us updated. That is all we have from GAU Studios at PAX East right now. Game on.